Oh, it feels so good to be able to build with battleships again. If you guys haven't seen my last series, I, I uh, did a no battleship uh, Russian campaign, which was very interesting. And I made some very decent heavy cruisers, but I mean, I miss designing battleships. Speaking of heavy cruisers, it looks like uh, still have really, really bad hulls. Uh, this one's not terrible, though. Looks like my light cruisers are going to suck, though. I might ignore them. 25 knots is not terrible. Okay, so we need to build an unconventional battleship. So let's just... Okay, so we got that, and then that. Then we have this, this, uh, and the Oh, I hate these stupid cr uh, crane towers. And I got this. Um, kind of thing. That's compact. It gives me the best stats, because I would like my ships to definitely be useful. I just don't have to look beautiful. Uh, okay, what type of guns are we working with? I do have the balance mod. 16 Mark IIs. I, I have 18 inch Mark IIs already? Oh, interesting. Now, in theory... In theory. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is awful. And then, let's just say TNT to powder. 90 second reload. What's the range in this thing? It's only 49 cal. Let me adjust that. Blank, 50 cal. 93 seconds. That is... that is certainly something. That is a huge gun for this ship. But I kind of like it. I, wait, hold on. I'm thinking about maybe using something like this for a battle cruiser. Because a battleship 6 is not going to be enough guns. So we'll come back to that. I also have to look out a funnel. Let's just slap one on really quick. Also make sure to do the speed this thing can do, so 23 and a half knots. This is the Royal Oak. Not a lot of space for guns unless I use smaller guns. What type of guns... when does Mark III start? 12? Oh, yeah, we're definitely not using 12 inch guns. What if we use 16? I think that looks pretty British-y. That does look pretty Britishy. All right, and then uh, throw one of these on the back, right about there. So that's twelve sixteen-inch guns. I mean, that's definitely. Normally, I don't put twelve uh, twelve guns on really anything, but I think this is pretty good. Casemates. Should I just go all? Wait, yeah. What if I just do eights? We have a decent four-weight uh, offset. Which I can help a little bit. Um, but I'm trying to think of how to make this kind of conventional. Because this looks conventional. The only thing that's unconventional is the, uh, the larger amount of guns. Um, range... Let's keep that normal. I'm trying to think of what to do here. I can't put 4 inch guns on any of those? Okay. What about 6 inch guns? No. 5 inch guns. Do I not put casemates on any of those? Oh, you know what? I bet it's, uh. I can't put. Oh. Drats. Is it 3 inch guns? That goes in there. I'm looking at this little hole right here. Yeah, it's a two-inch gun. As soon as that little thing goes away, it should reveal itself. If it would update. It's not updating. Okay. Um, usually I'm not a huge fan of two-inch guns. This might be an exception. 
considering I can put a lot of two inch guns on here. Okay, that's a lot of two inch guns. Let's make them um, 2.5 inch guns. Make them as long as possible. Seven kilometer range for a two inch gun, it's not terrible. I, what do I do? I would like, let's see, 16 inches, eight, 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 four, four, Let's just slap 4, 18, 18, 18, 9. We're overweight, but that's that's okay. Let's make the 16 inch guns. Do I want to make them? 45 caliber? Or do I want to make them 40 caliber and make them close range ships? So they would reload in less than a minute. Accuracy 10k, not great, but. So this could be a little bit of a brawler because of all the many secondaries we have. In that case, let's throw on. Definitely coincidence. Say heavy shells. What does that make reload? That makes reload worse, doesn't it? What about light shells? Okay, what does my pen look like? 10k, 20 inches compared to. Doesn't even. Wait, what? Okay, so. Sorry, 10k, 20 inches. Uh, 10k, 22 inches. Mm. It's a little better. Maybe I'll just stick with. Yeah, let's go with lights and then full cap. And then we can pen really easily. Or maybe just base views. No, I always take base views. Let's let's go high end shells. Get a lot of penetration, especially at close range. Which is what I'm gonna try and get into range. Should do increased AP. What uh, what pen does these have? Like eight inches at 10k. Citadel four. Definitely want these to be beefed. Think. Let's take a little bit cheaper stuff. Maybe ox two. Uh, gear turbines, I think. Let's go oil. We have more than enough engine efficiency to a point where I think I can actually go down to the smallest funnel. I don't really care about turning, do I? Let's just get hydraulic turning and shaft 2. Okay, very overweight. What do I do to reduce this? Could reduce the tower. Doesn't really give me that much weight savings though. Jeez, we are so overweight. Okay, what is the problem? Mid belt armor? That's a problem. I need this mid belt armor. Is it the main deck? Is that the problem? Because I could make this four. No, I kind of need this to be 16 inches if I'm going to be getting in close. Um, I could do 15. That's bulkheads, mid-belt armor, turrets, modern tower 3. So if we're doing this, then... Oh, I don't like, I don't like de-armoring my ship, but I might have to do it. What if I do something like like reducing deck armor? Could work. And reducing turret armor maybe? 
I don't want to keep this the same. What if I just... Yeah, reduced... Reduce the armor on here a little bit. What if I did this? Nah, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. What caliber is my AH guns? 43? Let's make them 40s. Less pen, but hopefully faster reload. There are my threes, okay. Uh, okay, so immediately this is already turning out to be very hard. Okay, um, as much as I like how the 16-inch guns look, maybe I go down to 15? Even though the 15-inch guns are weird. Yeah, I don't really like how they look. I like the 16s a lot better. Let me see what I can do with this. Okay. Uh, let's just increase all of that. Decrease this. Okay, remove these. 16. Okay, I am realizing this is starting to look like a semi-normal ship. Which, I don't know if I exactly signed up for that. Now, does this thing... <laughs> now, I'm kind of starting to think about uh, if I can put things down here. It's looking like I cannot. So, I have an idea. We're going to completely scrap everything. I just, you know, I'm going to go clear. And then we're going to take smallest main tower... And small secondary tower. Oh, that isn't... Okay, we don't lose on too much base accuracy. Alright, can I put this down here? No, okay. Good to know. So that way, I can get... This bark bet. Where's the 16? 16. 16. Nope. Okay, doesn't really fit. I wanted to kind of do like a little bit of a Nelson style thing. But I don't know if it's going to fit. Actually, hold on. Is Compact smaller? It's a little bit smaller. It actually might be enough though. Ooh, it is. Okay. Now, if I threw another gun on the back... Still really bad offset. Let's throw an 8 inch gun there and there. And then can I put one here? Not really. Okay, let's ignore casemates because uh, screw secondaries. Let's get a funnel, put it as far back as possible. Actually, wait, if I get rid of these, can I put a funnel there? No? Okay. Okay, offset is a lot better now. Yeah, how far back can I put this? I can put that far back. That's still okay. Okay. A little bit of a weird ship, but uh, that's the goal. Repeat launchers. Eh, let's try armoring the ship first. See if I can't do that 1688 thing I was talking about. Okay, so far it seems to be doing pretty good. I think I saved a lot of weight from replacing towers. Okay, if I do this, I think I can get the smallest funnel. Yeah, get the smallest funnel. Okay, 
Let's strap them some things on here. Just get three for now. Two. See if we can't. Get, oh, turtle back is so heavy. Oh, let's roll with it and pray. We're already at max displacement. Jeez. What happened? Okay, we can reduce. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, let's just let's just actually match the armor on the turrets. That hopefully will reduce a little bit more. Calibers, let's go down to. Okay, it's not going to tell me what caliber the gun is, so we're going to do the super known thing. Okay, minus six percent should be okay. Is that? Let me drag back. Hold on. I drag this back. Can I drag this back now? Yes, I can. Okay. So I still have a broadside of 12 16 inch guns, which is awesome. So let me take, I think, 8, 4, 4, 2. We're a little overweight, and I haven't even added a lot of things I want. Um, ma, 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 do, do, do. Yeah, there's a lot of things I still need. Let's do turn without that. Doesn't really change that much, does it? Okay, maybe I'll just stick with normal then. 232, two. let's make it at least 25. So that would be Electro Hydro. Let's do light shells so we can get that nice fast reload. 49 seconds. The pen's not great, but if I get high end shells. Now the pen's going to be a lot better. Let's get increased. Let's do actually increased AP. Standard. Let's do Antitorp 2. Oh, I could fix this problem by going Citadel 3, but I really don't want to. Minimum range? I could do minimum range. I don't like a minimum range. I don't like it. What if I do this? Does that make it worse? Yes, it does. What if I do this? This. That does make it a lot worse. Okay. 23 knots. Can I bring... I would just want it to... Just give me one pepper range, please. Hmm. I guess with the... I can't even do that. Okay. I want better steering. Maybe a little better steering. In case it's a torpedo. What's my steering now? Pretty much 600. Not terrible. Okay. I don't have many secondaries, I just realized. Can I put more casemates in here? Let's go back to Shaft 2. Hydraulic. Oh, those 8 inch casements are that heavy. I guess as long as I stay under 5%, I'm fine with it. I guess I will not be having casemates then. Man, those casemates are heavy. Alright, not a lot of secondary firepower. Which is not my favorite. Oh, well, I guess that works. Just throw a little bit of secondary firepower on there. How much secondary firepower can I put on this thing? 
Not much more. All right. I only have one forward firing. I can't put them anymore. Right. Put it there. That reduces the fire arc of that gun. Uh, I guess this works. Can't put it in the tower, can I? Can I put these on there? No. Let's just throw some three inches up there. And get any two inches up here. Let's ditch this one. Let's ditch this one. Let's make these 2.5s all as long as possible. The 8 inch guns are 40 cal as well, that's okay. Let's just put 1.5 inches of armor in the 4 inch guns and. Oh, just one inch on the two inch guns. Can I make these 3.5s? I could. No, I'm okay though. Okay, we're a little overweight. Little overweight. do I want to do to reduce the weights? Pull this back in a little bit, I guess. Does this go back any further? Not really. I already tried, tried with those. Um, I don't know really what else to do. I would have to get rid of some stuff that I really want to keep. This is tough. I did not realize how much I would have to sacrifice just to make this thing work. Now, maximum bulkheads is something I absolutely need. Hmm, do I make it not standard quarters? Or do I make it standard? Uh, Alright, let's just stick with standard quarters and hope the ship has enough armor. I mean, 16-inch main belt, 8-inch main deck with turtleback armor scheme, hopefully we'll keep it alive. Okay, so this is the... I guess the Royal Oak. Save design. And we have another battleship. Oh, that's a really... I do not like that hole. That is a very bad hole. It's down here. Not because I can put it there. Does that mean I could take a bar bed and put it there? It does. I could go more 16s, actually. Hold on a minute. Now if I throw this thing back here, and I take the- nope. And I pull this back just by one pip. Put this there. Okay, that's... Give me a second. Put this right there. The funnels. Let's get a tall funnel. This thing can do 22.8. Let's just make it do 22 for now. Do an A-OK -okay with semi-oil. Can I do the smallest one? No. Large funnel. Tall funnel. Really? That's a big jump. Okay. Let's go with that one for now. Uh, now we have an aft weight offset. Not for long. 
Now I'm going to throw another 16 inch gun. I'm going to drag it up here. Yes. And I'm going to put another one right here. That is a lot of 16 inch guns. This does not quite fit though. Okay. Yeah, you fit back there. You need to come like one pit forward. There you go. Now that's a broadside. Now I, I don't think the hammer's going to be very good, but... This might be more of a long range. Well, do I want a long range? I don't know what I want this. What if I ignore secondaries for this one? Go all big gun. That's definitely an interesting uh, concept. Stereoscopic, I could. I could do that. Wouldn't really need torpedo dodging because I would be so far away. Does this give me anything else to know about? Oh, it just give me defense versus submarines. Uh, oh, submarines don't exist. Thanks to uh, balance mod. Enhanced. I guess I don't even need these to turn that much because I will be so far away. Gives me the most range. We'll just take Team T. Ooh. Two powder doesn't give me that good range. Toyota gives me a way better range. So right now I have 25 with AP. 23. Less than 20. Let's stick with Cordai 1. Even though there's a really high chance to blow me up. Hopefully we'll be too far away to get hit by anything. Uh, we can kiss standard. Let's go heavy shells. It doesn't that reduce our range though? Okay, what does deck pen look like? Is it? I care more about deck pen. Let's just say 10 through 20. So 10k, 6 inches, 20k, 11 inches. Compared to... 10k 6.7, 20k 12.8. Let's go with heavies then. Even if it reduces our range a little bit. Standard, and I don't really care for that one because I don't have secondaries. Okay, cheap citadel, anti flood, two. Let's go like this. Anti -tor Do I even want anti torp? Oh, less mine damage. Let's let's stick with double bottom for less mine damage, but no torpedo belts. Get some crop armor. Let's do barbette. What about barbette two? I'm really, really bargaining on just not getting hit. And then let's just just ox two, I think. And is this... this... That'll fit all my guns. This will make me a... It's a stable shooting platform. Okay, let's increase beam. Does that make things worse? I think it makes it better. Makes it more expensive, which means that we've gone over with the speed. 20 knots is not fun. I'm almost thinking reduced draft then. What if I just standard standard and I just take away one gun on the back? The gun in the back seems to be a problem. If I do... Oh no, I really want that gun. I want every gun possible on this ship. I'll figure out another way to balance this out. And I have an idea. Two round funnels. Oh, okay. It's almost balanced. Range is okay enough that I actually think I can take it down. Maybe it's just a pip. Speed, 
Let's do negative three percent. Negative three percent. So maybe I can get twenty-three knots pretty easily. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. I'm looking for the jump. Actually, twenty-four knots is probably fine. Um, this is a very long ship, but I'm okay with that. What else can I get rid of? I don't know. I do not know. I guess I could get a single bottom hull. Just hope I never get hit by a torpedo. Probably go best shells for the best penetration. I haven't even touched armor. Okay, so I don't really care about belt armor, so let's actually stick that at 14... I think 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven, is 7 inches of deck... What if it's... Okay, against 16 inch guns. Say 20k. 26 inches, okay, that's not gonna happen. 15k, 10 inches of armor. No, 19, 20? Should defend against HE for now. This is around 15, 16 inches in quality. Doesn't necessarily defend. Okay, what if I do something crazy like this? And then the belts, I don't really care. The deck, I need all of that. And you could just be 1.5. Because if they fix that little thing. Um a little over. 4.5. Let's get, I think, 14, 14, and then 8 on top. How long can I make these guns? Because I would like them to be very, very long. I get 50 cal. Almost. And again, it does become a problem. Okay, 45 cal. I have to bring these back a little bit further. Just gonna extend the citadel of the ship, which is going to make it harder to uh, deal with. So you can stay there. You can go there. You guys can come back right there. Oh, we're so overweight. Could sacrifice. I don't want to sacrifice towers. I need the best towers. Why sacrifice speed? Let's go down to 23. 2.8. Go back to 0, 0. Nope. 0, please. Does this fix the problem? Oh, interesting. What if I go 5%? 5%. Ten percent, that does fix it. It does in fact fix the problem. The tower is a problem. Okay, and they have a range of almost 30 kilometers. Still, that offset's not amazing? But at this point, it's bearable. At this point, it seems to be bearable. 
what I could actually do is replace funnel with a slightly bigger funnel. Slightly bigger funnel? I'm trying to get a big enough funnel that the offset goes under uh, 5%. How big of a funnel do I need? Jeez. Okay, so the funnels actually aren't that big then. Let's get at least 100% engine efficiency. And this is just going to have to do... No, now I'm overweight. Come on. Okay, there. Okay, that's a lot of guns. A lot of very upgraded guns. Not a lot of armor. And the speed that we have is not great. So hopefully we spot and shoot down anything at a distance. This is the Vanguard. Save design. Okay, the battle cruiser. We have this really long hull. We have this more journal looking hull. And then we got this smaller one. So on the long one. Oh wait, actually hold on. Which one do I want to do it on? I think this one. On the long one, we're going to try that idea that I had before. Wow, okay. Yeah, which one's got the... I'm really not losing much from switching from this tower to this one, am I? Um... Okay, let's just stick with this one for now. And then let's take a enhanced secondary, I guess. Something like that. And then we're going to do this little thing called centerline guns, 18 inch. I'm going to grab two triples. That is impressive. Very, very impressive. How fast does this ship go? 32 and a half knots. Wow. That is already a very dangerous ship. How much engine efficiency do I need, though? Seems to be a lot. We have a four-way offset, which is not great. Hmm. How fast do these guys reload? 108 seconds. Okay. Light shells, enhanced reload, electric two, TNT two powder. Do I want dunite? Let's just take a TNT. And then let's just say capped base use for now. What are we looking at? 84 seconds. That is 49 cal though. I could reduce that to 45. Negative 9%. Jeez. I mean, they reload in a little under 70. So in about 70 seconds of reload. Still 20 kilometers of range. And again, they're 18 inch guns, so they will smash through anything that hits. That is kind of crazy. Here's what I'm thinking though, I ditch the enhanced tower, I take this one, because this one goes back further, I think. At least it was supposed to go back further. Does it not go back? I thought it went back further. Guess not. Maybe the compact then. Compact, scoot this all the way back. Put this there. Yeah, I don't think that barbette's going to fit an 18-inch gun. A little small. And then let's get... Something very similar to the battleship. Just throw some 8-inch guns up here. I'm almost tempted. I could do. Let's scoot this up a bit. Let's find the barbettes. 
This is for small guns? Interesting. Grab this. I said, that's way too tall. Can I, does this one work? Yeah, it does. It fires over. That's kind of funny. Alright. So that's a couple 8 inch guns slapped around. Can't really put them anywhere else. And I don't have any casemates, so hopefully 8 inch guns is going to be okay. Let's go Coincidence. Hydro 2. Um. Hmm. What else do I do with this? What if I take that? What does my pen look like? 20k? 32 inches of armor? Yeah, this thing is going to shred through, th through things. Do I turtle back with the light? And you know what? No. It's so fast, I bet you it's not going to get hit. Let's still put best stuff on it. Uh, take best anti-flash. Let's actually take best steering. What else can I do with this ship? How armored can I make this? I, mm, no point in making battleship grade armor. Maybe just 12? 12, 12.66? 12, six, six. And then... Like three, like 1.5, yeah, like 14. Six, three, three. Eight inch guns can stay at forty cal. Okay. Not a bad little ship. Maybe a little bit more engine efficiency would be nice. This is the best funnel I can get, right? Yes, it is. Now I'm almost wondering... If I slimmed this down, could I make the ship even faster? Do I dare, or do I just get more range? Alternatively, I, I uh, extend the barrels of the guns back to 50 cal, making an 87 second reload, but giving it much more range. Though, I'm going to reduce it again, because I just realized I have very small towers, so I have to get in close anyways. Go. Do I even need increased shells? Let's take it anyways. I have a lot more displacement than I thought I was going to have. Um, I want more range. I think I need more of a stable shooting platform. Maybe a little bit more beam. Go down to 32 knots. I guess I could force the boilers. Yeah, maybe I'll force the boilers. Uh, what else do I do? I guess I could throw on Citadel 4. Triple bottom. Wow, that's heavy. Gee whiz. Okay, maybe hold on a second. I can't really do any much to the armor, so maybe I will just do that then. Yeah, that, that. I can almost do that. Or do I want more range? Okay, hold on. Let me go back down here. Get a pip. Can I do this? No. I definitely can't do that. Huh? Well, almost. Maybe just more crew? I don't really know what else to do with this. I 
Okay. That's a pretty good ship, I think. The Valiant. Definitely a little bit of a weirder ship, but... You know what? It looks pretty cool. It actually does look very cool. What the heck? Is that just me? Or does that look really cool? Okay. Let's save that design. Should I make another battle cruiser? I kind of want to. Do I make this one the spam battle cruiser? I think I do. All right, here's what I'm gonna do then. Best tower. What do I want the best tower? Yeah, I don't really care actually. Second to best tower. Enhanced, uh, whatever that is. Or do I want another compact? I should have a question. Does... Where's the first Mark III? 12? Well, the 13-inch gun was the first Mark III. Doesn't really fit. Does the 12 fit? The 12 does fit. Now you've got me interested. Now you have me interested. So I want this, I want this ship to be the one that spams out a lot. And I do mean a lot of smaller caliber fire. Let's back this up a little bit. Unfortunately, I can't put another 12 inch gun up there. So I will just have to deal with an eight inch gun and call it a day. It's already nine guns on the back. I haven't even touched the front. I don't suppose I could throw 12s on this thing, can I? No. Unfortunate. Okay, this tooltip thing is interesting, to say the least. So let's get the smallest. Wait, which one of you is smaller? You are. Okay, so let's get you, because you're the smallest, put you up here. And let's try and get a really tall one. I don't think that's going to work. We can certainly try, though. That's, yep, that's not going to be tall enough. Is there a very, very tall one? Hmm. It works. It just doesn't shoot over. Now that's definitely not going to be tall enough. If a 2-inch gun could fit on that, it might work. Not a 2-inch gun, a 12-inch gun, you know what I mean. Hmm, unfortunate. I guess we're just going to have a lot of guns in the back. Let's get that very tall bar bat. Slap a 12-inch gun on this thing. Bring this thing back. And put another one down there. Okay. Now, do I... Hold on. Do I dare get side guns? Do I dare get side guns? Oh my goodness, I think I do. Now, I'm no expert. But I'm pretty sure... First of all, that's a 12-gun broadside just on the front, plus the back, which is 9. 21-gun, 12-inch broadside? I think I like this. I think I like this a lot. Uh, how fast does the ship go? 29 knots? Okay, 29. And then with oil gear turbines, just fine. This is the superb. Get best steering and everything. Uh, let's get double hull anti torque 2. Because this thing is going to get very close to the action. Definitely Citadel 4. I think standard, standard. I think I want full best shells for everything I have. Or do I want to try and burn something down? Hmm. Is there just like standard base views? What does that look like? See, we're definitely going to go against cruisers only with this thing, so... 10k... Probably 10k lower. What about 15k though?
This doesn't look terrible. I must wonder if something like this would be better. Let's get at least something that can rip through destroyers, so I guess that's base fuse? Yeah, it's definitely base fuse. Where's that over pen? No, I think base fuse works. And let's go TNT, two powder. Now does no fuse work? Uh, kinda. What if I did Dunite? I definitely want two powder because of the extra reload, but maybe I'll do Dunite. Now this does more damage, TNT that is. I think I'm going to stick away. Or do I want to try Picker Acid? Just does a lot of HG damage. Let's stick with TNT for now. Let's get increased shells, definitely. Do I want heavy shells? How fast do you reload? A little over a minute. Okay, light shells. 56 seconds. Why do you guys take so long to reload? Why am I not seeing? Okay. Yeah, let me get rid of some guns to try and make them... 40 cal. There you go. There we go. A little bit more balanced. A lot of guns. I think this one we definitely make more of just like a really up gunned heavy cruiser. I guess I can throw 8 inch secondaries on this thing. That's a big halfway offset. Let's actually bring this back a pit then. Wait, not that fit there. Hold on, if it sits, then it... Or if it fits, it sits. However the sun goes. A little weird. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of them. So those 8 inch guns add a lot of weight. Let me bring down their caliber just a little bit. I think 40 cal if I can. That's so short. I can still shoot though. Everything 40 cal is pretty good. Twelve-inch guns, you guys can have 10-inch armor. I think 10-5 is what I'm thinking. I think I actually want 2.5 in the superstructure as well then. Put 12 here. Let's get 5, 1, 5, 2.5, 1.5, 1.5. Oh, best reload. 47 seconds, that's better. Okay, what if I do Citadel 3? I definitely want best anti-torp. That doesn't really change anything, does it? Hmm. having trouble thinking of what to get rid of. I'm thinking... <sighs> I 
Okay, what's heavy? Bulkheads, really? We could go down to many. Next is turrets, and uh, not a lot I can do about that. Bulkheads, modern tower. Fuel, which is range. I mean, 16 is still okay. I brought this down to like 28. Because I could, in theory, get rid of this, get the smallest, smallest little uh, funnel. Maybe not the smallest. Maybe the second smallest funnel. Yeah, 27 knots. Ah, uh, still too heavy. ditch the whole bottom just so we don't get torped how much else I can add on now I could make, make this back to 45 cal. Bring them to the same range as the turrets. Okay. The superb class. That's a lot of guns. Alright, Heavy Cruiser. We're definitely going to be using this hole because um, I don't think anyone likes this hole. But this actually gives me a chance to use more Bethlehem stuff. So let's see if I can't shove the main tower right there. That's a really big secondary tower, but whatever. A triple funnel? That's a lot of engine efficiency. Ships can only do 21 knots. I hate how slow these stupid things are. Okay, here's the idea. We make them small. 26 knots. Is that too much? I think 26 works. I must say it does. Now this secondary tower might be a bit of a problem. Oh wow, these towers are all huge. Okay, we'll just stick with this then. We don't keep our bets? Are you kidding me? Ugh. When in doubt, 11 inch guns. I get side elevens? No. Can I get side eights? Yes. Can I get side nines? No. Side eights it is. Oh, if this was a little bit wider. Yeah, those actually fit. Oh, now we're at 30. I think if we went down to negative 5, 28? No. Never mind. A bit of a forward offset, that's just gonna have to be okay, I guess. Unless side guns like this. Nope, that does not work. Good to know. 
Good to know. A little bit of a weird ship, honestly. It doesn't take much to make this a really weird ship. Let's just give it some okay stuff. Definitely a bit of a weird ship. 26 knots is not terrible. Let's not give it the best stuff. Let's just give it some okay stuff. So if it dies, it, I don't have to care too much about it. Do I even want to give it... Yeah. Okay. Probably just like Antitorp, like one double hole bottom. I think best Krupp still. Just keep this on the cheaper side so I can send them out pretty easily. I think soft capped capitalistic one. Hopefully that's okay. Just keep them pretty safe. Standard shell, standard, better reload. Turrets turn fast enough. Okay, what's the difference between Coincidence 3 and Coincidence 4? It's a tiny bit heavier, but not that much. Advanced versus RDF, not that much. Hydro 1, Hydro 2. I don't need depth charges, because submarines don't exist. I want eight, four, 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 two, 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 ten. I make this four, two, and two. I'll keep this thirteen, thirteen. Maybe I'll just make it twelve, twelve. Okay, fine. 11, 11, 5, 4, 5. 8, 8, uh, 4. Caliber. 40 cal is just fine. This is a pretty... How cheap is this compared to my other bigger ships? A lot cheaper, okay. How much time does this take to build? 15 months compared to 20 months, 22, 20 months, 25. Okay. So what I might do is I might just build these and buy all the capital ships. So I should give this good range and many bulkheads. There we go. A little bit more engine efficiency for better range. Now we're over. Gosh dang it. What do I get rid of? What's our chance to flash fire? Not really that high. It's a little higher now. Vest, you guys reload. 45. 35. I didn't give you secondaries, I just realized. Are the range guns going to be good enough? Unless I could put 5 inch. Just put some 4 inch guns on there. We're only a little over. We'll do like Hydra 1 Advanced. Coincidence 3. Ah, still not doing it. I guess I could always pull this back in a little bit. Makes it a little bit less heavy.
There we go. Okay. I suppose I can... Not that. Okay. Alright. Orlando. This is a pretty generic uh, heavy cruiser. That, um... I take it back. This is not generic at all. This is really weird, but whatever. It's a heavy cruiser and it works. Okay, light cruiser. Can't really do much with these light, stupid light cruisers, can I? Hold on. That's a pretty interesting hull. That's just a destroyer. Let's do something with this. Make a really cheap ship I can send probably to Colonial Islands. In that case, let's actually just get the smallest tower. Just a very nice and cheap ship. So you can do 29. Let's just make you do 29. Let me know that 0.5. Just put a couple funnels on you. Forest works just fine. Oh wait, I saw it. There. It doesn't really help me, does it? Then if I do put guns on, I can't put guns up there. Traps. Right, here's the idea then. I get the really tall one. I get the really small one. Maybe not that small. Do I want 7 inch guns? We do have Mark 4 5 inch guns actually. In that case, actually, this might work. Actually, hold on. Can I get the smallest barbette? Would that work? It does. And... Oh, it just doesn't fit. Does the forest gun fit? It does. Oh, that's cool. I guess I'll just put the torpedoes here. Nope. Doesn't work either. Okay, fun. Speaking of torpedoes, what if I just put them up here. Yeah. Let's do something like that instead. And then bring this back. Get that really tall barbette thing. Uh, okay, something's gone wrong with that, I guess. And I'll put this down here. Hello? Okay, well I guess in a second that we will be bringing this forward. So let's drag this a little forward. Get another barbette, slap this back here. Perfect. Bam, bam, bam. A lot of little four or five inch guns. Make them long barreled. So 45 cal. Slap some, I guess, no torpedoes on the side. We'll do is I'll. Let's take these here. Make the torpedoes, put them right, uh, right in the center here. Probably right there. Oh, these boats, oh, those boats are, oh, that's annoying. All right, get rid of the boats. Get more torpedoes. Really bad forward offsets. Put another gun down here then. And throw torpedoes here. Actually, what we can do. There's even more guns.
is what I can do is get a little small white bar bet, slap that right there, slap this right under this gun, which works for some reason, put yet another gun down, and then guess what? We put a bar bet here, and we get another gun! Nope, okay. Almost. I just stick this out, bring this out. This goes up here. This can go... Not there. Right there. This can go forward to about there. This works is crazy. This doesn't quite work. But that does. The fact that those turn is crazy. Look how close those things are. Okay. That's a lot of 5-inch uh, guns. Let's get some coincidence. Some Hydro... Hydro 1. Advanced. Coincidence 3. Advanced Mine Layer. Don't need any of that. 20 inch Torps. Still works. Make them fast. Uh, do I want increased? Let's just go increased. Enhance Reload. Uh, these turn fast enough. TNT to powder, standard, standard. You want to stick with normal shells. Do full cap. Best end. Doesn't do very much. Okay, that's fine. Okay. How small can I make these things before they shrink? So like... 7,000. This build... Eh, 11 months is an okay build time. Engine efficiency is alright. Armor, right. Can I... Absolutely chunk these out? Not really. Okay. Uh, I like it. The Cordelia. It's very unconventional, but it is definitely something I can build out pretty quickly. 12 months and a lot cheaper than the Orlando. Okay. Say design. And finally, one of my favorite things to design besides the uh, Battleships and battle cruisers are the destroyers. That is a long destroyer. Wow. These are a lot wider and shorter. This one's just really skinny. Okay, this is going to be my most advanced one then. The big barbette tower. That's the best one, I think. A funnel on this thing. How fast do these go? 35.5? Wow, okay. Impressive. Very impressive. Get a very small barbette. Definitely gonna make it. Oh, single barreled? Yikes. Yikes. Not a huge fan of that. Unless you got three on the front. Does this thing fit under that? Throw a torpedo launcher back here? Nope, okay. 
I do want a lot of torpedoes. Let's back this thing up. Throw a torpedo like right there. Bring on sides. A couple side torpedoes. Let's get, I think if I put it on this thing, you can fire over, perfect. Do still have a four weight offset. So let's push these forward. Right about there. And then. Ooh, not quite. Okay, this one was a little big, but a small one it does work like that. Ooh, I wish I could fit something. Hold on. I'm gonna go a tiny bit further. Not really. These go a little bit further. As does this. Not enough? That is enough. More torpedoes. Alright, I like that. A decent amount of guns and a decent amount of torpedoes. Decent amount of speed. Let's reduce bulkheads and increase range. So I'd like these to have range. Actually get the best auxiliary engines. Uh, best turning. Best steering, all that. I don't suppose I can get best everything on this, can I? Nope, okay, never mind. Those bulkheads are heavy. Standard ratio. Go, go high end? Let's do high end. Heavy shells, maybe? High end heavy shells works just fine for me. Be loading in about five and a half seconds, 10k ish range. They turn really quickly, so let's get really good turning. Or, well, hold on. Let's just get the best turning. Steering torpedoes. Does 20 inch make a problem? Oh, uh, is 20 inch going to be a problem? Okay, we can do 19 inch then. 19 inch torpedoes. Make them fast. Unless you guys reload without the enhanced. 6.2, whatever, we'll go without it. Uh, I don't actually need any of that, I don't think. Whoopsie. Let's go Minesweeper 3. Mine Layer 4. Uh, no, let's make this a combat ship. So this ship's going to be combat based. TNT 2 powder. We'll bring these down. Gives me a little more space to put some armor on. Do something like that. Now, by chance, could I do this? That's a little not great. Okay, it's 5.3, it works. Or 4.3, sorry. So, get all the armor I want. Make these really long. Oh, okay, not that long. What about 5%? I go to 5%? No. Okay. At least get 30 cal. No. I cannot. I like me so over. You still seriously that much over? Be fine. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You good again? K, 
Okay, the Searcher. It's an okay ship, I think. Uh, yeah, let's stick with this. Let's make a smaller destroyer, because this one takes 8 months to build, it's 21 mil. It's actually more expensive than the uh, Cordelia, which is kind of funny. Uh, so let's make a really cheap destroyer now. Probably on destroyer 4. Going with destroyer 3. Let's do three, four and a half knots. Actually, let's do thirty-two knots. Standard, standard, standard. Uh, cheaper tower, uh, but still, still go pretty, pretty advanced. Oops. Still single barrel main guns. Got one funnel. Cool funnel. Now I did I do I did kind of build that semi normally, so I'm going to atone for that by building a destroyer with the barbette in the middle. Cause uh why not? We're gonna put three inch guns on this, I think. Oops. I needed those. Get everything relatively square. Three inch guns, three inch gun, three inch gun. That doesn't quite work there. Okay. Three, 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 nope, okay. Gosh dang it. There we go. So three inch guns in the middle. Uh, now I'm thinking is torpedoes. So if I drag this back, Drag this back. I'm doing it all the way back. I drag this forward, drag this forward. Let's throw some torpedoes. Not there, apparently. This is as far as I can put it. Let's throw some torpedoes right there. And some torpedoes right there. Maybe a little further back. Yeah, like right there. And we'll drag this forward a little bit. Okay. Not terrible. Let's drag this back actually. Drag this forward. Forward. Drag this forward. Drag this forward. Actually, no, we still have an aft weight offset, don't we? Does this make the citadel big? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's just keep that back there then. You know what would be cool? If I brought this forward and put another torpedo launcher here. That was what that's what would be cool. Very just unnecessarily weirdly designed ship. Well, I mean it's balanced. Strangely enough, it is in fact very balanced. Uh, it has more than enough engine efficiency to the point where I could probably put Thin Funnel 1 on instead of the uh, Thin Funnel 3. Am 
I will still put it then thumb of three. Just to keep these things balanced. And why the heck is it when I have this, it's more balanced. Okay. Weird, but whatever. I guess we'll stick with coal. Gives us a little bit more resistance anyways. Uh Let's stick with normal turbines. Ox two, shaft, hydraulic. Get some armor. More more armor. I'm thinking about putting like 0 0.5, 0 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.5, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.5. And then this would be the one with the uh, all of this stuff. The spotter, torpedo spotter. Still okay torpedoes. Do they still fit? Yes, even with 20 inch they still fit. Let's make them 19 though. Turn fast, TNT, tube powder, standard, standard. Just keep it pretty standard shells. What else can I put on this thing? Some more armor. Hmm. Alright. Not too bad. Very, very weird and unconventional, but I kind of like it. Though we are a little... We do have a little bit of an offset now, but that's okay. Just put a tiny bit more in four deck. Not that much. Okay. This is going to be our lot cheaper ship. The cheapest ship we have. Uh, yeah. Okay, safe. And that's it.